Come on, right there. That's his route. Comes to this drink zone, either this side of the lake or that side where you're hearing that noise right there. Uh, but what I think has happened this time, because we were set up waiting on him to come to this drink zone right here, and he had always traveled on this right side right here, and I could see all that, I could see all this. So I think, process of deduction, because I didn't see him, I think he spawned here at this rest area. As you see, it's 0 0.30 to 500. I started, you know, 500. I think he walked here. This is way too far out of sight for me from where I'm lying there. I think he's walked here. This is two, there's two options, and, and see, I'll find out uh, because always after you get done hunting, find out what they did. Use that knowledge. So if he went this way, then I'm going to know. I'm going to know maybe instead of setting up because he comes here to this zone, maybe I set up here and I catch him that way or this way if I can see good there. I mean, that's this is what you got to do. Um, I got to figure out his routes. And if all routes lead either here or here, then maybe I I need to be setting up here to where I can see him no matter which way he comes in. You know, that's these are things that you got to do to increase your chances of seeing this animal. Now I'm going to predict. I'm going to predict that right now he's either here or he's right here. I can't get him to come to me. I've called. So I'm thinking I'm going to go take a gander. I may hop over, look look over the bank and just see what I can see. If I don't see him, I may just fast travel up here. Check this lake out. See if he's drinking up here. But now if I don't get him there, chances are I'm going to see him from this stand between 9 and 9.30. And that will probably be my next stream. I don't want to do like a two and a half hour stream. We're at 47 minutes right now. Like right now it's been pretty uneventful. You know, I've killed a coyote. I've killed a an elk. I do have something coming in here though. I was just getting ready to fast travel. Maybe it's that same guy. Who knows? Level two. Well, that stops me from uh, being able to hop over the bank and look. Wait a minute. There's more. Oh, what are you doing? one is that? Level two. That's a couple level twos. Kind of afraid to move now. What if they're all kind of coming over? tough one. Now that's that's a direction there. If he were to just hop up that bank we're talking about her big guy oh that's him I'll take him with the bow because I'm crazy
Oh, smoked him. Absolutely smoked him. Right when I was getting ready to leave. Do you see how quick he was going down? That's going to be a heart shot. Now, my heart is pounding right now. I'm going to paint on cornhole boards the rest of the day. My heart is absolutely. It's so much like real hunting. It's crazy. It's crazy. Now, if he's not a diamond, I'm going to be super disappointed. But at the same time, this experience right now, probably over four hours invested in this guy. And to know the one common thing, vital organs, a lot of people don't like that front shot. I do. I like that front shot. There he is. He's going to be, he's going in the lodge. That much is for sure. Uh, is he a diamond? I mean, he could be a troll. I, I do have a, a red deer troll. Um, see if there's another way. Heck. How could that not be a diamond? I mean, and to get him with a bow, you know, I just went with what I was presented. My boy's hunting lions right now. Protege. Okay. Is he a diamond? I smoked him with a bow. Um, is he a diamond? What do you think? Look at that rat. Look at that. Let's find out. Diamond. We have done it. We have done it. And look at this. Another question answered. I got something else around me. There is a nice level four here that I would love to take. Uh, you're right. Thank you. Yeah, my theory, I forgot. I was getting ready to smoke that elk that just came up on me because there's a level four that's really nice. The next animal that I shoot is going to be a moose because I'm diamond hunting moose now. And I think that this diamond has been taken out of the population and now that's going to... But here's the question I was talking about. See, I caught right lung. I thought I got a heart shot on him. That's where I shot him with a bullet. Remember I shot him in the last stream or the stream before last? It does remember because that was two hunts ago. I've reset the time twice since then. So if you hit an animal and it heals, then you've got one shot left to put it down. You can't shoot it twice. See, I was wondering, does it wipe the slate clean each day? But no, it remembers. If you've ever shot them once, it'll remember it. So I'm lucky I got that diamond. Uh, let's look at his what it has to be. Uh, to be a diamond, you have to be a 380.8. No, it's 382.7. Yeah, he passed it by two points. But we got him. We smoked him. We did get him with the bow. I took the opportunity because we got to mount him. Trophy lodge time. Got to go put him in the trophy lodge. And where are we going to put him? This is the decision we got to make. Oh, the decisions, the decisions. And now I'm just going to kill me a moose and then I'm going to... Is there a way to move the trophy mounts around like i wish you could like i would like for the first room you walk into to be all diamonds you know but in order to do that i'm not gonna be able to do full body mounts on it and uh, elk as a full body mount i covet that whitetail because i have probably put i know that i've put more time in the game going after this guy than i have anything and he's a level two diamond and that to me, a level two diamond's even sweeter than a level three diamond. It's really hard to get a level two diamond, yeah. Um, now here's my red deer that should have been a diamond. Yeah. Should I put the elk there or should I put the elk here and my black tail just... You know what? Black tail's had his time in the spotlight. Blacktail has had his time in the spotlight, so. But we're gonna put him there. 
a we now got to choose a pose that we like Gotta show off that big wreck. What do you think? Looking down. I also like them. That one. I do like that. But I see what you're saying about looking down. It would show his rack off better, I think. What? Think about that. Well, for now, you know, the, the, the problems we have. You know, but the thing about it, you lose it in the brown, the brown wall. So, okay, we're going to go with that for now, but got him with the bow. I didn't think it was going to happen. Uh, I had I had reserved. I even said I think at the beginning of the stream that I'm just decided I'm going to take him seven millimeter. But I killed two animals with the bow this stream. I killed a coyote. I killed another elk. But they just drop. I mean those bow they drop quicker with a bow than they do with a gun. What I did is I went to that northeast, the main northeast Norden outpost, and that's right by a lake. And I looked and I saw him right off the bat. When I first started my elk hunting, he was the first elk I saw. How lucky is that? Because I had sat there and I took a flinter video. It's like a five-minute video of his elk um, hunting guide or whatever. And there's like six or seven outposts that he will travel to. I spawned in here. I just set up for elk hunting. The very first, and I'm not kidding you, the very first elk I laid eyes on when I decided I was going to start hunting for elk. He spawned back in here and walked out. He was the very first. I scoped him. Level 5. It was him. Okay. I tracked him for a little while. Tried to get him. You know, this is round 4. This is 4 times I've done like a hour to hour and a half strength. So I have at least got 4 hours, probably 5 hours. Four, between 4 and 5 hours hunting him. I didn't do it I decided that I was going to do my something different, you know, to try to get him with a bow. Normally, I just stalk until I catch him, you know, unaware. Um, for whatever reason, stalking them feels so much longer. But I would have been better off stalking this guy. So I just use screenshots on my phone and I mark it up. You know, hit this outpost first, this one second, this one third. I didn't even have to get into that. The very first elk I saw. And that's why I go back to my theory. Um, I really believe my theory's right. I believe right now. Explain my theory one more time. Let's just throw this out there. Let's say there's five diamonds on your map. Well, now I have four on my map, okay? There's an open slot right now. The game... Now, it could be that the game has already inserted before I've even killed anything else. Maybe the game has already inserted a diamond somewhere. Maybe it's even in this zone. Who knows? I have killed a coyote diamond in this zone. You know, I've killed... Uh, right here on this side of Beaumont Lake, I killed a blacktail diamond, and I killed my whitetail diamond right there. So this lake is get, giving me two diamonds. Maybe it's, you kill it, there's a diamond in each zone. Who knows? I just know that for four times straight, the next animal that I killed was a diamond. I killed, like if I go kill a moose right now, don't kill anything else, go kill a moose. I believe, it is my theory, 
And what would really confirm it for me is I have hunted this river so much for whitetail, and that's where all the moose are. I've never seen a diamond moose. If I go kill a moose now, if it's the next animal I kill, and all of a sudden there's a diamond moose on this river that I've never seen before, then my theory is correct. I think the game has an open slot for a diamond animal right now. Go kill a moose. Then that the next moose will spawn in as a diamond. Now it may be down here somewhere. It might be up here. It might be this fork. You don't know where it's going to... I've never seen moose anywhere over here. Ever. They're always up and down this river. I'm already set up with tents and tripods to do a good moose run. So it's moose, duck, or rabbit for me will be you know you don't really get excited about a duck or a rabbit so moose for sure is going to be my next animal that I kill remember my whitetail that I killed was a silver I was trying to get a gold whitetail to be the first animal I killed after my last diamond yeah after I killed the coyote I went and killed a silver whitetail So I'm going to try to find me like a gold moose or something, preferably. But a level three or four moose, the first one that presents itself, I'm just going to shoot, kill it. And then I'm probably just going to paint on cornhole boards for a while. Darth Sloan, art teacher by day, horrible hunter by night and day lately. But we're getting better. We're not as horrible as we once was. But Toby Keith says, not as good as we once was. I'm not as horrible as I once was. So... Anyway, Peter's best friend, Darth Sloan here. Keep preserving those salads. Big elk down. We're out.